going to play around with some uh, with a compressor and uh, auto filter. Now, everyone knows about the whole sidechain compressor. You know, if you get your bass lines pumping, it's it's a pretty common thing. You know, every everyone does, it. and everyone knows how to. Um, but we're going to take that a little bit further, and we're going to add a an auto filter um, and side chain the auto filter to the kick drum and then do some parallel processing uh, with that and try and spice up the space line and get it you know get a little bit more movement out of it and so far this is the basic this is the basics of it it will go from this to this which is pretty cool so let's go through this quick how I did this uh, first thing you want to do is take an auto filter uh, engage the side chain the input obviously the kick and then you're gonna want to drag this envelope parameter down just a little bit too far it gets it, it's pretty extreme so that resonance that move that that the resonance from the filter and then the movement from it being side chain combined is creating additional movement uh, but to cre but to not I mean when you're doing this you're taking away I mean we're at 2.7 kilohertz uh, so that's a, that's a lot of stuff that's getting taken away so what we're gonna do is highlight this hit control G open up your uh, chain view this is gonna be our wet and then we're going to create a new one that is going to be our dry. And this is going to be unaffected. And then this is the one with the auto filter. Now we could take, now we can kind of emphasize this and then blend it in with the old signal. So let's. It sounded pretty good, but what you will notice is that there's a lot of low end buildup. So we're gonna try and take away some of that. And try to that way, what we're blending in is really mostly is gonna be what that resonance that that we've just created so then we're not really doubling up on much um, and this should be different enough that it it, it kind of shouldn't have any phase problems that there might be um, but use your ears because phase some having phase problems isn't always a problem if if that makes any sense um, I mean if you take two tracks separate them and then shift them slightly out of phase and then force them back to mono sometimes you can get some crazy effects uh, especially you know in the EDM world or the or bass music in general uh, with those bass sounds you can do that and you can get some crazy some pretty crazy stuff so So this is what it went from. Alright, now that's that's basically where we had it at. And what I would do um is is kind of try to take this a little bit further. Maybe probably take it as far as I could. I'm gonna compress it a little bit. Or a lot of it. Uh, yeah, probably a lot. 
Way more than it needs to, but it now it's kind of combining the uh, parallel compression where you over squish it and then blend it back in. So we're kind of doing both now. Um, which is making it sound pretty cool. So let's see what else we can do. Um, maybe let's put a chorus. That is awesome. Maybe we'll do this. That's awesome. I can't tell if that dry signal, I, I don't think it's completely mono. Um, but let's, let's see what it sounds like when it is. It sounds like it was mono. So, alright. So this is going to be creating some width, um, and a cool effect. It sounds pretty cool. Um, now let's, let's try something else. Um, let's try phaser after the chorus let's let's try that first solo this out let's try it before Kind of add in a little bit. That's cool. It's had a lot more movement. It created some stereo width and a mono signal and fills it out quite a bit. Awesome. All right, now if you liked, if you liked that, um, hit that like button, subscribe, that'd be awesome. Uh, share it. That'd be awesome. It'd all be awesome. Whatever you do, I don't care what you do. Just watching this is awesome. So, um. <laughs>